사람들은 여러 가지 이해관계로 얽히고 또 부딪힙니다. 때문에 법의 세계에서도 다양한 분야가 존재하고 그렇기 때문에 특정한 분야에 전문화된 전문 변호사들이 있기 마련인데요. 그럼 인공지능 역시 특화된 법률 분야에 이용되는 경우가 있을까요? Um, so we kind of have a couple of focuses at the moment. So we work a lot with the lease accounting departments of Fortune 1000 companies. So the Siemens of the world, DHLs of the world, um, you know, like Walmart, for example. Um, so that's less e-portfolios. So it's a lot of uh, legal documentation around um, the tenant side of things. Uh, and then the other side is actual real estate owners and investors. Uh, so we're working with... Um, you know, Hines and Prologis and Brookfield and Blackstone and companies like that. Uh, so we kind of identified pretty early on that real estate is one area that has a lot of pain around documentation. Uh, so we decided to really kind of focus in on real estate to begin with and branch out from there. But there are obviously a lot of different verticals ultimately that we could get into because there are a lot of different uh, verticals that have contract problems. So. Healthcare is one, insurance is one, um, you know, banking and finance is another. So. 부동산 시장을 시작으로 법률 시장에 진출했다는 이 회사. 그렇다면 인공지능을 어떻게 이용하고 있을까요? Yeah, so uh, like I said before, you know, our customers might have a they might have a central place where all their documents are located, but likely they do not. So they might have documents scattered around different jurisdictions. So a lot of our customers are multinational. So they have you know, maybe some contracts in their US office. They might have other contracts in their Seoul office or their you know, China or their London office. Um, some are even more scattered than that. Sometimes they have a bunch of contracts that are not even digital. So they're in filing cabinets. Uh, so basically collecting, the idea is to collect all of that information Um, you can feed it into our system, and then it's a very standard way of extracting and formatting all the data. So no matter whether, again, this is a contract that is from 1970, um, maybe from the 1800s, although those are obviously very hard to read, um, uh, we basically can pull out the same information, and then you'll have the, you know, a library of all of those data points across the portfolio, So then you can zoom in and I can look at a jurisdiction. I could look at my Korean leases. I can look at my Chinese leases. I can look at my English leases. I can look at my American leases. I can compare it and contrast you know, legal clauses and terms. Maybe come up with business rules across your organization. Um, just do more meaningful big data analytics um, and make smarter decisions around you know, the data that you have, which, again, today is not possible because A lot of this data is just not readily available to these companies. Um, it's buried, you know, deep in unstructured documentation, you know, in these paper contracts and filing cabinets, or maybe they're in PDF format, but you know, they're not readable. It's not machine readable format, and you, you can't pull out the information. 아직 대중화되지 않았다는 인공지능의 문서 판독 기술. 하지만 우리는 미네소타에서 문서의 오류를 확인하는 인공지능 기술을 보고 왔기에 이곳의 기술이 어떤 차별성이 있는지 궁금해졌습니다. You said OCR, so we have OCR built into our technology. It's paramount to have good OCR um, because we're taking sometimes very unstructured documents, very old, poorly scanned, faded text, slanted stains on them. So we need to read all of the above. Uh, so we have built and developed our own OCR that uh, we feel is as good or probably better than any other OCR in the market. Um, so first, we're able to read through all these documents. The second um, is we basically have our AI engine go in and find information that you know, today you know, is done manually. There is a, you know, an analyst or a paralegal um, at a law firm or within a company um, that is sitting there you know, with a pile of document pages um, and a highlighter, or maybe they're sitting, you know, with dual screens. So they're sitting, you know, with one screen in front of them that has, you know, the PDF document. Then they have another screen that has some sort of 
form or Excel spreadsheet. And they're reading through and they're finding the information and they're manually writing it down or typing it in. Um, so the power of our artificial intelligence in our platform um, is taking a very manual, very laborious, very mundane process. It's completely reliant on a person and basically accelerating it greatly using, using technology. 우리는 이렇게 세계의 기술과 산업을 선도하고 있는 미국에서 4차 산업의 핵심으로 꼽히고 있는 인공지능이 어떻게 발전하고 또 법률 시장에 진출하고 있는지 살펴봤습니다. 문서의 오류를 검증하는 일부터 승패소를 예측하여 시간을 절약하는 인공지능과 고비용의 법률 서비스를 상대적으로 저렴하게 이용할 수 있는 시스템 그리고 오래된 고문서까지 분석하며 부동산 시장에 특화된 인공지능까지 법률 시장에서 다양하게 이용되고 있는 인공지능을 만나볼 수 있었습니다.